Mr. Zamperini, good morning. Sightseeing today? No. Should I call a taxi? There's no need, I'll walk. Do you know the way? It's not my first time in Tokyo. Zamperini? Robert Trumbull. Thank you for allowing me to join you today. I was always a fan of Time Magazine. You know, my mother saw you at the Olympics in 36. <laughs> she was thrilled to hear I'd be meeting with you. These men they did terrible things to you. What are you going to say to them? Watanabe. Where's the bird? Can you believe the army told us you were dead? Yeah, so much for military intelligence. The newspaper said they hurt you. Uh huh? That was just the reporter making stuff up to try and sell newspapers. Pop, you knew I was coming home, didn't you? Yeah, of course. Of course, of course, we all did. Lo sapevamo tutti che saresti tornato. Let's go. Andiamo, ragazze, su, forza! No, non sull'erba! Don't step on the grass! Uh, you okay? Never been better. <laughs> Let's see you inside. And thank you, Father, for bringing our Louis home. <laughs> Nel nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Amen. Ah, allora, buon appetito! Mangiamo, su! On the raft day after day. And talking our heads off, killing time. I don't know. I was always bragging about Ma's cooking. <laughs> yeah, and the guys, they would, they would make me describe every dish. You know, every sauce, every pinch of spice, everything. All the details over and over again every single day. And you know what their favorite was, Ma? What? <laughs> the gnocchi. Oh. Hey, oh, oh. Right. Oh. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what is this, Christmas? Every Christmas since you've been gone. And <laughs> all your birthdays. Three years worth. Here you go. What are these? Hmm? Letters. 2,000 of them. And why are people writing me letters? Well, they want to know if you're going to run in the London Olympics. Yeah, you are a hero, Louis. Yeah, they got me confused with some other fellow, Ma. Uh, I don't <laughs> think so. I want to get a swing shot. Up down Avenue. Swing and beat out down the East. Throw the boats at one. Louis. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. Bless you, Louis. Welcome home. Thank you, Padre. All of Torrance was praying for your safe return. Well, that's swell. It's a miracle you survived. 
Miracles didn't save my tail feathers, Padre. A couple of atomic bombs did that. <laughs> no, don't discount God's role in your journey. Don't worry, Padre. I give him all the blame. Hey, Ma, they're playing our favorite song. Come on. Louis, Louis. God's not to blame for your suffering. Thanks, Padre. Come on. Hey, whoa, no, play it again. Play it again. <laughs> Louis, I have a surprise for you. It's how we found out you were still alive. Japanese have released a recording of an American prisoner they claim is Olympian Louis Zamperini. Hello, mother. And father. Relatives and friends. This is your Louis talking. Through the courtesy of the authorities here, I am broadcasting this personal message to you. Turn it off. And this will be the first time in two and a half years that you'll have heard my voice. Turn it off. I'm sure it's... Dad kept the oil change for you. He drove around the block once a week. Yeah. Well, I didn't think I'd ever see this old wreck again. <laughs> hmm. It's a work in progress. You'll get it tuned up. Oh, Pete. Now you are always seeing the potential in things. You know, even your baby brother. I just made you lay off those candy bars. No. Uh -uh. No, sir, you turned me into a running machine. But I will tell you this much. See, when those, those B-29s that came flying over the camp, they dropped Hershey bars. Oh, and I couldn't help myself. You ever see what chocolate does to your guts after a couple of years of moldy rice? It ain't pretty. <laughs> 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 that Sunday, Pearl Harbor happened. Yeah. I was eating waffles. <laughs> I was on my way to the golf course. They said that we were at war, you know, but I didn't feel like war. You know? Not to me. It wasn't until I was stationed in San Diego one day this hospital ship comes steaming in there carrying these all these guys missing legs and arms they were all torn up blind burnt and that's when the war became real to me now they say that it's over but any second i just keep feeling like this klaxon horn's gonna go off and it's man your battle stations Maybe the war's not over just because they say it is. Hey, come on, let's, uh, let's sit in. It's late. Yeah, I'll be in soon. <laughs> uh, you can't help but be a big brother, can you? It's a life sentence. 